Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on the finale of 21 from 2021. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, I am so excited that uh, for some reason you have decided to watch this video and if you happen to like this content, please be sure to subscribe and also drop a like and a comment in the comment section below. For those who have been with me uh, from the beginning of the series on Monday up until this day, Shukran Sana, I really appreciate you guys. You have been such an encouragement to me and I hope that this week has uh, shed a lot of light in your life and I hope you have also been enlightened. Today being the finale, I'm going to share lessons 19 to 21 so that we can close this series. So lesson number 19 for today is sometimes progress means moving backward. I was talking to a friend of mine, Rispa, I've had on this channel uh, a couple of times and we were trying to catch up on what you have accomplished this year. And she asked me what it is that I had accomplished from my vision board. And I was like, um, um, you know, um, you know, um, I didn't know what to tell her. So I, I told her eventually that mine is a special case of progress sometimes means moving backward. You see, when you are probably going in a wrong direction, when you start taking steps backwards, you're making progress towards the right direction. Am I making sense? And that is what has been the case for me. This year, I have had to take so many steps backwards, but those steps, have only illuminated the direction that I actually need to go into. And that is why I'm saying that progress sometimes could mean moving backward. There are so many decisions I had to cancel, so many decisions I had to go back on, so many choices I had to go back on. And I realized in doing so, I actually elevated my life. I got to a higher level of life for me and I improved the quality of my life as well. So if you are in that situation and you're feeling like um, it's like you're moving backwards, always beginning, sometimes that is how you are making progress. It's better to move backward and make progress than choose to remain in the same place and remain stagnated, yeah? So that is lesson number 19. Lesson number 20 is things always work when you know what you are doing the first time i i actually read this in a book my mind was just blown i was like wait a minute every time i'm sure of what i'm doing every time i'm sure of the results that i'm are going to come out of what i'm doing i definitely get the results every time i, I immerse myself in, into something and i'm sure of it i normally get results and when i read this it's it's like my eyes were open and i realized every time i have failed it's because i didn't actually know what i was doing every time i have felt like i've let myself down it's because i was sort of playing you know picky picky ponky you know that game where you just try to sample a winner and that is uh, what I, I i came to realize this year that whenever i I play randomly whenever I do things randomly they fail and of course I feel like I've let myself down but whenever I choose to get into something and I am so sure it's going to work out it definitely works out and this has challenged me as a person to try and always know what I'm, I'm doing with my life at a particular point of course you cannot always have um, that certainty like a hundred percent but if you are sure of the direction that you're taking if you're sure of the path that you're taking definitely definitely it works out for you and this lesson really just blew my mind i was reading a book called uh john stone living uh, livingstone jonathan livingstone the seagull by by robin someone I'll, I'll confirm i've forgotten the the name of the author and this story is about a seagull that was so um ambitious it was very ambitious and it wanted to fly as high as it could as fast as it could and do everything else that seagulls normally can't do and in its determination it got to a level where it could be able 
it wanted to start teleporting you know when you fly so fast and it appears as if you have teleported this is what the seagull wanted to accomplish and so as the seagull was being mentored now the seagull is called jonathan as jonathan was being mentored by his main mentor the mentor told told him that if you want to fly as fast as your thoughts you have to first of all arrive at the same time when your thoughts are arriving like if you want to see yourself if you want to arrive in nairobi see yourself already arriving in nairobi i hope it's making sense so as the mentor was teaching jonathan on how to teleport and how to do it eventually jonathan got the hang of it and he succeeded so he teleported flew very fast in in like a split of a second he got where his thoughts were and he was so amazed and and he started shouting like oh my god it worked it worked and the mentor told him every time you know what you are doing it definitely works and so this is a challenge that i took up and i'm also uh, throwing to you that try to be sure try to know what you are doing in your life try to have a direction try to have a perspective of what you are doing with your life and that way you are def- uh, things are definitely going to work for you so if you can forget everything just remember this thing that things always work out when you know what you are doing and finally lesson number 21 is this give yourself permission give yourself permission to succeed give yourself permission to do what you want give yourself permission to walk the path you want to walk in give yourself permission to dream give yourself permission to live within your vision and this applies to many of us especially i think this applies especially to first boss there is an unspoken an unspoken uh, expectation or pressure that is normally on first bones most of the times that um, you have to be perfect you have to be always available for everyone you have to be the one who is knowing how, uh, everything there is that pressure that is not spoken but it exists you know and for most of uh, the first bones we end up being people pleasers we end up being uh, trying to please everyone and in doing so we always seek permission we always seek validation we always seek approval and trust me it has taken 25 years for me to realize that i'm that kind of a person like i will do something and i know it's excellent it's perfect but i will not go um, i will not submit it or i will not put it out there unless i have gotten the approval of somebody unless somebody has validated me unless somebody has given me permission and told me yes it's perfect you can post it or uh, you can do this or you can attain this level you know and i came to realize that this year and because of that i, I started working on myself i started try not to seek permission from anyone and just giving myself permission and from there i started giving myself permission to succeed permission to follow my dreams permission to follow my vision permission to do whatever i want to be where i want to be with who i want you know that kind of permission really offers you some sort of freedom that otherwise you wouldn't have so today i'm challenging you give yourself permission give yourself permission especially if you are a people pleaser if you always seek validation if you always seek approval please start giving yourself permission you see that answer you are expecting to get from somebody as you are seeking their approval give yourself that answer the response you are expecting as you're seeking validation from other people begin by giving yourself that response and eventually you'll find you're getting to a particular point that you are no longer dependent on other people's approval and uh, uh, and validations and permissions you know so i challenge you to do that for yourself and you'll you'll be surprised how much you can accomplish when you stop seeking people's validation uh or the time and now because i really enjoyed this series so much and i enjoyed that we are both learning from each other i'm going to give you a bonus lesson and this is it and learning is part of the progress you see 
in life you either have to learn you have to relearn or to unlearn and most of us has have specialized in learning new things you know we are always googling uh, stuff we are always reading blogs or always i said always oh my god <laughs> we are out there uh, on youtube trying to get information so there's so much information within us but sometimes for you to make progress as a person as long as knowledge is um concerned you have to get to a point where you are starting to unlearn some of the things and this year i have had to unlearn a lot a lot of things and in unlearning those things i have given myself freedom in very many ways i have found myself in that situation where i'm no longer limited by the little knowledge that i had the little knowledge that i was holding on to the little belief that i was holding on to and because i have let them go i have unlearned some beliefs i've unlearned some uh, information i have found myself growing even as a person so i challenge you even as you seek knowledge also choose to unlearn some of the things that you thought were the gospel truth because sometimes what you have learned is as a result of maybe generations like this is what your parents do so automatically it becomes a part of you this is how uh, things are done so automatically you just flow but sometimes sit back and unlearn some of those things and like choose for yourself what you want to learn choose for yourself what you want to to go into because when you're just like given information without g- being given a choice definitely you are limiting yourself so unlearn as you're learning as you're learning don't forget to unlearn so that is it for today we have finally come to the end of this series thank you so much it was fun having to do this every single day i really appreciate even the opportunity you know the fact that i had you uh, coming to view it it means a lot to me so i really appreciate your presence here i appreciate your engagement and um don't forget to watch the rest of the videos in case you haven't watched them if you have any other topics would love me to talk about to get into or even a question that you have gotten out of what i've shared throughout this series please be sure to comment it and if you are a shy person you can always dm me on my social media handles instagram at rose rosita dot paul facebook rose rosita paul and yeah we are going to keep interacting i wish you a wonderful holiday happy holidays to you and your family and of course i hope you stay safe even as you are celebrating thank you so much for watching and until the next video now you have a nice time and happy holidays